Hi, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's my delight. I'm so happy to see you again. And if you do not know who we are, my name is Princess. I'm coming to you from the DLBC Singles channel. On this channel, we talk about relationship, how to find a Christian partner, and how to start a relationship that will lead towards marriage. That's our objective. With all our new, our old subscribers and our family members, part of the family, the group here, you're very welcome again to another video. I'm so happy as always to see you. It's my delight to be with you again for another discussion. Today, we are here again for another hot topic. Beautiful discussion, nice conversation. But first, I'm going to introduce our host. Um, I mean, our host, I'm the host. Our guest here is Dr. Obina. <laughs> he is a common face. You have seen him a couple of times. He's been very um, happy to come and share his own personal experience and his advice and his thoughts about a lot of topics, uh, which among which uh, is the one we're going to be talking about today. I was going to start this this um, topic, first of all, by sharing with you a story of somebody who has been looking for um, a partner, beautiful lady, has everything that a man will be looking for, and she has many friends, but she's only kept as a friend. Nobody wants to have her as a wife, nobody wants to have her as a life partner. Nobody is proposing to her, and sometimes she wonders why. Why? Are, what are people? What are these young men looking for? I think that there is this chemistry between us. I think that God is leading me to 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 this person or that person, but I'm not bold enough to speak. I expect them to go forward and you know propose to me, just like every woman dreams about, but. Apparently, the men are looking for some things. They are looking for some traits. Uh, is she just enough to be a friend and not a life partner? What are the things that a man would be looking for in a woman <laughs> that will make him to keep her as a friend and not go a step forward to seal the deal and make her his wife for life? And that's one of the questions, the question that we have in front of of us today and Dr. Obina is very happy, delighted to share with us what are the three traits, what are the three things, what are the three virtues, what are the three elements that he will be looking at, that a man will be looking out for when they want to marry um, a woman, when they are looking for a partner, a life partner. Uh, he, he, I mean, Obviously, men don't take this as, as as a game. It's a very serious thing for a man. So, um, Dr. Obina, what I what do you think a man would be looking for in his ideal wife? I, I know you've had. I mean, you have friends, but what is that one? What is what are those things that you'll be looking at that a man generally, you know, as fellow men, when you talk among yourselves, what are those things that you guys in common or most most men want to see in the woman that they want to make theirs? Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Sister Princess. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, um, I'm going to just follow the follow the direction you've given and the ground you've laid. So uh, I'm going to um, discuss or re respond based on this particular lady you're talking of. Although I don't know the lady, but I'm going to ask some questions though. Okay. Is she a Deeper Life member? Let's start there. Well, I, I I don't want to say directly that yes, yes, there's okay, 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 a okay, deeper okay. life member, let's say. Well, a Christian, I'm just going from the no, point no, of no, no. the Christian. There, yes. There's a reason why I'm asking the question this way. It's going to determine how I respond. Does she attend deeper life? Yeah, man, she 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 could go to other fellowships okay. too. It's more of like a like a campus fellowship than kind of. okay. Now, but how will I put it now? The friends and brethren she's talking about, is it within the deeper life circle or just generally? General, Christians in general. She's open. General. She's ready okay. to marry a Christian. Just okay. a Christian. Not so Christian. um you said three things. Well, let okay, let's let's group them into MVC. Money, um, values, mm -hmm. and comportment. Let's put it under those three broad headings. Money, values, comportment. Money, values comportment now hey. 
although it's MVC, let's start with the V, the values. Okay. For me, now, of course, uh, we're we are generalizing here anyway. But mm -hmm. number one, you said she's a Christian. Okay, fine. Yes. Now, when I say values, there's a reason why I'm talking about values. Sad to say, if you are sincere and you look at Christendom today, yes, there are many people that say they are Christians. Mm -hmm. And again, because it's a thing of the heart, it's only God that knows, isn't it? Yeah. But when you look at their lives, they have little to no fruit of Christianity. Mm -hmm. That's okay. number one. Okay. There, there are some people that might be working in church, holding one or two positions in church. Mm -hmm. But when you look at them, they do not have the fruits of Christianity. Okay. Now, that's one. And when you say the fruit of Christianity, what do you mean? The Bible says, by their fruit, you shall know them. Okay. For example, if the Bible says, um, love your neighbor as yourself, mm -hmm. You discover maybe in interacting with these people, whether they know it or they are doing it um, unconsciously, they are so selfish. In in this in this sense, let me put it this way: in this sense, you know, when you when you when you're interacting with people, yes. let let me rephrase it. There's this particular verse in Acts chapter twenty thirty five. Yes, I use it as one of my own personal principle. That place says. Apostle Paul was speaking to, I think, the elders from Ephesus. Mm -hmm. He said, as Jesus Christ said, that it is more blessed to give than to receive. Yes. If you evaluate, for example, let's say that sister's life based on that metric, the question is, where does she fall in? Is she more of a taker? Mm -hmm. Now, I know generally we say, oh, women are nurturing, nurturing. Well, often it is restricted to maybe when they are mothers. You know, their own children. Okay. At times, it doesn't spill over to other, you know, other, other aspects. So maybe the people, her friends or Christians or brethren around her mm -hmm. are observing these things. Okay. Let's say, okay, there's a get together or someone invited, you know, people, oh, let's come, let's come together. Let's say people might come together, buy, let's say, pastries like cookies and the stuff. Maybe she might come late and say, oh, you know, I forgot I'm running late. I just came. And every time she does that. Every time she does that. I mean, people will be, people, you know, people observe. They'll be looking at this and say, okay, you might be a Christian, but, well, my hand is not there. Okay. But you, sometimes you think that men don't notice those kind of things. Oh. It's, it's, these are little things that it's not as if it's a big thing, but when it comes to this area of who to marry, since... You're going to spend the rest of your life with this person. Yes. Those are some of the things, you know, people might look at. Okay. Again, when again when we talk of values, yes. you're, you're my witness. In some discussions you've been part of when I discuss with single ladies, yes. you notice their attitude in some of these discussions. Number yes. one, they, their values are not Bible-based. Okay. They might be convinced, like 100% convinced that it is Christian. Those, their values are Christian values. But it's a lie. It's not. Because when you weigh it against the scriptures, it does not exist in the scriptures. Now, when brethren, brothers are interacting with you, that is serious brothers, and interacting with you, and maybe a topic comes up, like some of these um, sensitive topics, and the stance like. you take, for example, let's say this stuff of, um, so-called women oppression, okay. patriarchy, you know, okay. all these hot, all these hot, you know, topics in the society, mm -hmm. right? Submission, you know, those okay. kind of things, leadership uh, mm -hmm. in the home anyway, yes. headship, you know, those kind of things. Now, now I'm going to make it general. I don't think most men are just after, oh, I want to uh, subdue you. The men that are, are, are doing that, it's already a red flag. The women should already notice, you know, and stay yeah. clear. Yes. But ge generally, when brothers are talking about this headship or leadership, in this kind of context, they are watching the response from the ladies. Now, a mature Christian lady will come from it biblically and say, well, this is what the Bible says. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yes, people abuse it. You understand? 
when brethren, when brothers hear that, at least their guard, they will lower, they will lower their guard and say, okay, at least she believes the Bible. Okay, let's see. But when in such discussions, it turns out that her value is more in line with what the world is saying. And if the brother is a serious brother in his relationship with God, you people might be friends, but in that area of relationship, marriage, forget it. So that, that, those are the areas of values. And also, for example, values in terms of home structure. What is her own vision of how a good home should be run? Of course, different homes run differently. But generally speaking, what's her... You know, these days, there are many ladies, even in the church, sadly. Mm-hmm. They think that washing plates, washing clothes, is not necessarily a female duty. But they, but they miss the point. They miss the point. The point they are missing is that there are some areas where you should not even allow the man to do it except for emergencies. So, there, there's a reason why I'm saying it like this. Because okay. when women or ladies or sisters come to put this thing, let me put it this way. Men generally, eh, when they are growing up, yes. Depending on the household, we are not too proficient when it comes to ha- some of these household duties. It's usually maybe, depending on the home, we mainly go fetch water, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, the heavy duty stuff, that's what we, we understand. We are really involved in, okay, fix this, take out the trash, do this, you know, go clear the um, lawn, the garden, all those stuff. But when it comes to like, oh, you know, go wash, for example, the room or those kind of things. It's not as if we can't do it. But when, let's say we are discussing with a sister, and it's as if that's her own bone of contention. I'm, I'm You know, it, these things might look simple. Or even, let me tell you this, even some men, eh, that they don't mind sweeping and cleaning the whole house. Yes. But when, at that stage, when the woman is talking all this nonsense, even if though the man knows that if they marry, he can sweep the house without even take, asking anything, to him, it's already a red flag. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Because the thing is this, what often women, sisters don't get to understand is, when the Bible, you know, that's why often when I try to do these discussions, I try to take a sweep across the Bible from beginning to end. When you read it, when you read it, it it's as if there's a, God has a special business with men. And what now, what, now, no, that's what I'm saying. When I say special business, it's not as if women don't have any role to play. If you look at from beginning to the end, even in the Old Testament, when he was talking about... Um, first like first bonds yeah. the passover and you know um, we can call it sanctification or setting a part of the first bond the first mm-hmm. fruit mm-hmm. it's focusing on the male okay. notice it if if you now i know this, this is another hot topic again in christianity but if you are sincere if you look at it it's as if there is something at the background just going on Okay, so now, what, what do you mean? You so you mean God doesn't God has not designed a man to take care of the home, like no, 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 no. Cause. His 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 primary um how do I put it down? His primary role, apart from other roles, is leadership. What it means is that anything that happens in that home, anything, last last, he's the one that will answer for it. Yeah, but on a day to day basis, that is what I'm saying. What the what I think many sisters miss is they try to conflate God has given you your roles. Let me not say role. Okay, God has given you some things for you to take care. Remember in Proverbs, was it 14:1? The Bible says, A wise woman builds her home, but a foolish woman will tear it down. In in, in that verse, it never talks anything is that about not the figurative. Man. Is that by that verse of the Bible it not is, figurative saying it is that both building of her home like building the atmosphere of the home keeping the family together like trying not to be this n- nagging wife and all that is that not how what it means is it it is it is both figurative it is both it is both figurative and literal 
she's the one that will bear children. If she doesn't bear children, what home are you talking about? Well, what about those? Well, that's if she now can. that is that is that's what I'm saying. Those the ones that the the people, women that can't give birth is like a special situation, isn't it? Yeah, but well, that, now, that's another topic for another day because no, are, exactly are couples that's that, that get married together and don't have any intention of having no, children. No, no, even those ones that can't give birth, they can still adopt, isn't it? It's still the same thing. When they adopt, it's still the woman that will build. See, the man, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. The man eh, is the head, though. He might do all this, all this, but you see that home. It is the woman that builds it. Remember, in Ruth 4 again, the woman said they were speaking to Ruth. Naomi. And, oh, now, Naomi and the women were speaking to Ruth and said, mm-hmm. and to, sorry, Boaz, and said, May this woman build your house just like the way Leah and Rachel built. The house of Jacob. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. If you if you read the Bible all through, yeah, there are, there are major roles God has put on both. Is it both genders? Okay. Now, when I when I'm talking about values, this first part values, the man is looking at okay, if I'm trying to be the head, a good head, you know, create the vision and chart the direction. Of course, I'm, I'm looking forward, isn't it? My, my my eyes are focusing forward. Yeah. If I turn back like this, or if I look at my side, I'm looking for someone that will be, how will I put it, taking care of things and moving things along that vision. You see what I'm trying to say now? Yes. But if the values of the other person is more like, oh, no, I want to come and stand in front of you. I want to come and stand... Side, just side by side, so that we both of us will be going in the front like that. You know, so let's saying, look at I'm, it. Let's, I'm saying, let's I'm break saying this it, out. I'm saying it figuratively. I don't mean. Yeah. Because we'll break it out now. Right. What is? Just look at the home, a general home in the week, yes. week in, week out, day in, day out. Yes. Okay. For me, I believe that building of the home is a joint business Mm -hmm. right because in a home when you wake up in the morning you pray you i'm just breaking out what we do what you do in 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 an ideal home wake up in the morning you pray after praying you start dressing the kids up for school preparing their meal and all that i know many women do it but there are some men that also help with those kind of things and then the kids go to school you both go to work because now the modern woman goes to work as much as the modern man Right. They share these responsibilities like it's a shared financial body. According to the Bible, the, the woman tends to the home, the man brings whatever food, clothing, and everything to the home. Right? So that's where the main heavy um heavy duty is on the man. Because the woman, her own job, though we think is light, but it's still heavy. You can take care of a home washing, cleaning, it can be a full day job, day's job, right? From experience, I know that. So in, in the modern day where both of them are actually bringing money home and the modern day men now, I, I'm hearing this word of men saying they don't want to marry a liability. So they are saying that they want a woman who can, who can hold a job, who can bring something also home. So now how, how do you, um, how do you apportion the leadership part? If the woman is also helping with homework, she's also helping with taking the kids, driving the kids to school and bringing them back home. She's sometimes, some families, you hear them say it's 50-50 here we're doing. Yes, 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 yes. Some families, they do joint account and all the money is all together and you don't even know whose money is being spent. And some families, the woman is even earning more. Yes. Right? So yes. where is the place? What's this leadership that we're talking about? Is yes, it? Yes, yes. Huh. So, if you can flesh it out a little okay. bit, let me. I'm going to say some things that will make some people pissed off. Mm-hmm. But I beg their indulgence. After they are pissed off and they calm down, yes. they should go and start reading their Bible from the beginning to the end. This thing I'm going to say is this: It is either you want to follow what the Bible says, or you want to craft out your own method of surviving in the modern day that's my answer to you so what does you the bible say the man should take care of the yeah. woman you see this thing I'm, te- I'm i'm saying i'm telling you i'm telling you this thing because it's what i plan to do implement in my own life now other people might do something else mm-hmm. 
I'm not I'm not here to say oh, they are wrong or all I'm saying is this thing I'm saying is I'm I'm trying to say this is what the Bible says. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Because why I say this thing is this I've been observing, I've been asking questions like you raised. And I began to discover that often it is our greed and selfishness that put us in this calamity. How do you mean? Let me explain. You don't necessarily need both husband and wife to be working the way they are working today in Christian love. Oh, it depends on what they want. Exactly. The greed is on, from whose side? From the man or from the woman? I don't, I, it could be anywhere. I don't know. I'm not, I'm okay. just saying, I'm just saying. Because why I say this thing is this. I ask, at times I ask myself this question. Why is it that, for example, you can see a leader in church. Mm -hmm. His children are just off track. Now, I know that, of course, the whole blame can't be on the leader because of the children also have their own lives to live and they're going to answer before God. Yeah. But all I'm, all I'm saying is this. If we want to follow the Bible, what the Bible says, they train up a child in the way he should go. Yeah. What, what time do you have to train up that child if both husband and wife are working 9 to 5? But Think the kids it. go to school 9 to 5. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. What time? Do you have this? Is we say I should it's go usually in the evening, like in my own uh, house, for example, the kids go to school eight o'clock and they come back around 4 30. Sister Princess, I'm not asking yes. for your excuse, I'm asking for you to take the question in. What time do parents that work nine to five, both of them, have to really spend time without stressing themselves? That's important. Take time to really inculcate these values and train up their children i just school no i don't want an answer i'm just saying i'm just oh it's you're like just a rhetoric... asking a question that doesn't need yes. an answer okay <laughs> it's just a rhetorical <laughs> question <laughs> it's just a rhetorical question because this thing i'm saying is there's a reason why i'm saying this there are some things i say it doesn't need an answer it's for you to think evaluate your life compare it why i'm saying this thing is that i know the experience i had growing up that's why I'm forever grateful for my mother. I thank God for that godly, shall I call it, heritage I have. That's why when I hear some women or some families or some men say some things, I don't argue with them. Some of them are older than me. I keep my mouth shut. I'll be praying. God and I, we know what we are doing. Okay. Because the reason why I'm saying this thing is, you see these um, examples you raised, mm -hmm. it's, al it's already a gateway to problems. What I say it's already is a gateway to problems. When we want to, in our own wisdom, try to reshape and panel beat what God has said in His Word, my hand is not there again. That's my own. Okay, so what are you? Tell me what you what what you analyze as what God said in His Word that the man should, the woman should not work, but she should stay home and take care of the home. I did not say yeah, that. Yeah, because when I, you are saying that, people, people, you have to you have to explain what you mean by what God said in His Word. What did God say in His Word? How do you analyze? What, I mean, the Bible how, is there, but you have to how analyze to, it, right? How to, how to analyze it is you tell yourself the truth. All these things we are saying, we are Yeah, so what's it. the truth? What's the, the truth? truth is, the truth is, if God said it's more blessed to give than to receive, practice it. If God said, train up your children in the way of the Lord, practice it. He did not say you should go and give, drop your children to a Sunday school or pastor. No, it is you. When the Bible says, for example, um, when you look at both one another, so are you saying, is... I mean, Sunday school is normal. We all drop the children at Sunday school at church so that we can hear mm. the word of God. That one is normal. Again, again, you're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm listening to you. No, you're not li you're listening, but you're not hearing. Okay. Explain more. What I'm saying, okay, let me ask you this question. Yes. If the this is why I look at the Bible at times. Oh, the Bible says, okay, train up your child in the way of the Lord so that when he grows, he will not depart from it. Okay, fine. How do I do it? Okay, I'm thinking. In a day, how many hours? Okay, what do I do? That's how I, I reason it out. And the way I reason it out, you know that Sunday school, I don't count it. Okay. That's the way I reason it out. Okay. That Sunday You're school. talking about is, daycare, for example. No, I, I'm, just, I'm just telling you how I reason these things out. I say, for example, daycare, Sunday school, school. I don't count it because what the Bible is telling me, if I'm a parent, what the Bible is telling me is, I should train up my child, Abby. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. Because what I'm saying yeah. this thing is, what I'm saying this thing is, I have read and I have watched men and women 
that have made impact in their generation for God. And often, often, either their parents or how they live their lives is this particular way I'm talking about. Now, that's why I tell myself, if I also want to do that same thing, I'm going to follow this route. That's why I'm saying it like this. There's a reason why I'm saying it like this. I'm not saying, oh, because of modern day. All I'm going to say is, this is, this is what the Bible says. Now, you and your husband or you and your wife should come together and eh? pray and ask for grace on how to really implement this thing that the Bible has said, given the modern day situation. It's not the other way around. So it's not... Now, in other words, if you have a woman that is very career-oriented and want to pursue a career, it's already a no-no for, for some type of men. Is that correct? Not exactly. Okay. Now, let me, let me explain why. That's why I said values. The first one is values. The next one, the C, MVC. The C is um, comportment. And the, the M is money. Okay. Now, for a, let me put it this way. For a career, a, let me say a career-minded sister. Yes. Now, there's, there's a reason why I don't put, I don't, there's a reason why I, I arrange things the way I arrange it. Mm-hmm. I arrange it that way because I've, there's something I've discovered. Mm-hmm. If you do not put the spiritual first, you will compromise the spiritual for every other thing. Okay. You see, you've raised career, you raise the issue of career, and I'm not going to take it like that. I'm going to take it the other way around. Okay. Values. If the sister knows she has a career in mind she pursues, mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. this honestly, see, frankly, eh, this thing is simple. That's why, if you you know me, that's why I love. Let's have, let's keep having potluck, and all these informal. It's, it's a good way to gauge people. In normal discussions, the sister should have known the sort of brothers around her. Okay. Now, in those discussions, this topic must have come up. Now, she should be able to gauge and see, okay, if this person says this is the way he wants to live his life, if I want to pursue a career, how would that fit? One one way out is that means that whatever career she has to pursue, she and her husband to be must either make enough money or have enough resources to hire either nannies or house help, you know, or maybe relatives that they will pay or something, so that what that time that they will be devoting to their careers somehow mm-hmm. will not just be would not be to the detriment of her family. It was true. Okay. It's one way to go about it. The second way or another way to go about it is, okay, I have this career. Maybe I'm going to do this career for 10 years. The goal is at, at that 10 years, I should either transition to my own either consultancy or business based on that career, or within that 10 years, I'm going to maybe save up and switch into a similar, you know, complementary career or in another path that will give me more time. Okay. So it, there are various ways around it. But let me tell you one, one um, red flag. If that woman or that sister is so adamant, you know, there are some sisters that are so adamant about this career stuff that the brother will just sit and like, ah, no, you understand. I don't even have time to discuss this thing with this sister. It's it's all about the values and priorities. So the way she plays, the way she talks about her career, and maybe she says her career comes before any other thing in her life. Is that what you're saying? Just say the way it is. I'm telling you, don't speak in 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 proverbs or anything. No, a woman says so. What I want to hear is you saying that okay, if for example, if a woman says that her career comes above any other thing, that's already a no no. Yes, that's already okay. So that's the kind of um, okay. So those are the value side. Now let's come to comportment. Okay. Comport, comportment is how she carries herself. Right. Sadly, there are many Christians that, if not that you know they are Christians, you think they're unbelievers. How so? How they carry themselves. I'll give, give, one, I'll give you one. Ex, I'll give you one example. Yes. I know it's a funny example. People will laugh. Yeah. Look at the look at the royal family in Britain. Mm-hmm. Look at the shenanigans going on. Huh? Yeah. Now, I want you to look at one of the princes and how he and his wife are carrying themselves. 
and look at the other prince and how he and his wife are carrying themselves. Now, the truth of the matter is, it's only God that knows exactly, you know, what's going on, what has gone on and what's going on, isn't it? But if you look at the comportment, it's quite different. There's a clear contrast. Now, if you bring it down to... Now, let's bring it down to our our own lifestyle. For example, let me just say it. Yeah. You you as a woman, Mm -hmm. you know your body type. Yes. You know your body structure. Yes. There are some dresses, even if it's in fashion. Yes. If someone if someone says, Oh, I like you, I just bought this for you. It's either you give it away or you burn it. It's not for you. Because it doesn't look good on you. It might look good on you, but the how I put it, the picture is painting. Is there okay? Is the wrong picture? Is the wrong how I put it? Is the wrong signal? Is the wrong so for thing? example, give an example. A sister that wears tight clothing, skimpy clothing. So go ahead. Yes. Yeah. I mean, oh, already, now, if you're a child of God, would they be wearing skimpy clothing? Sister Prince, this thing I'm telling you is practical. You say we should do practical. Yes. Now, practical. let me let, let me talk about, like, deeper life setting, and then I'll go general. Yeah. In deeper life setting, at least, let's agree, deeper life has kind of like a tradition. Yeah. Let's call it denominational tradition of okay. comportment. Okay. And often it's, it falls on the side of the ladies, the sisters. Not necessarily mm-hmm. brothers, yes, but not too much. More, it's more on the, more sisters. the sisters. Yes. If you already know that, if you want to be true to yourself and nobody's holding you, my counsel is go and look for another fellowship. Now, it, will be, it will be better for you. What, what do you mean? Like, yeah, you're talking what, in, I mean, what you're are, talking to someone that doesn't understand anything. Is, what that, I mean is, what, is completely what I, lost. What I mean is this: for example, in North America here, yes, you you will hear some deeper life sisters say, "Oh, they wear trousers or pants, as we call it here, because of the cold." But in Nigeria, they do the same thing, isn't it? So it's not necessarily because of the cold. You see what I'm saying? Okay. That is one area, one aspect. So if of, a sister appears in if, church and she's all with her dress and skirts and everything, and you see her in town yes. with, with pants or trousers yes. or only tight, it's already a red flag. No, I'm talking of in the deeper life tradition. If if the brother, if she's looking to marry someone in that deeper that life tradition... That is a deeper remember, okay? Or it's, it's already... Some kind of, I mean, exactly. fellowships that are very conservative like that. It's, a, it's already a red flag. It's now, already a red flag. Now, okay. in, the generous, in the general Christian sense... Yes. Now, let's say as a lady... You in fellowship, you people don't have like the deeper life tradition. Yes. But now you went to buy, or more or less, you went to, you are wearing leggings, mm-hmm. tight, you know, tight leggings. Yeah. Leggings and you, tight, generally. Uh-huh, and your body, you have big body. Yeah. Generally speaking, the brother, if he's a serious brother, now I'm, I'm putting this caveat, if he's a serious brother, that brother, will, he might be friends with you, he might not say anything, but in his mind, forget it. Because of the because of the exposure, the bodily exposure is that. Let me let me let me put let me say this thing. I know other people say it even in the secular um, podcast space. Yeah. Indirectly, that when that woman marries, the picture she portrays is a reflection of her husband. So what the man is already thinking then is, oh, this woman, this lady is single. Though. This is what she's wearing. Now when we get married. And she continues this road. What do you want me to say? I can't, I can't say anything, so forget it. So these are these are some angles. Men are looking at, oh, I see this person. The way this person is appearing, will it be a good reflection of on me or of me, if you know if we marry or if we're in a relationship, that kind of thing. Okay. okay. The reverse, the reverse is easier. For example, if a guy doesn't have like good fashion sense, it's easier. Let's say a few people marry. You either go with him to when he's shopping or you tell him some things and he will just buy it and wear it, isn't it? But when you switch it the other way, it's harder if it's on the lady's side. You see the issue now. Mm, okay. Because you understand, the guy said maybe he loves wearing, let's say, jeans. Mm-hmm. But the lady, the lady wants him to be wearing, let's say, um, pop, like tr- plain trousers. Okay. When they marry, you will be like, okay, yes, you like wearing jeans. Okay, have some jeans, but buy more uh, plain trousers. Okay. What, what's the guy's 
stress. Okay, I'll buy more plane fuels now. But when you reverse it, the thing with men is this: because of the of their work, if if I mean generally speaking, if a man is working in like a corporate environment, forget short, he'll be wearing trousers. Unless maybe if he's at home or he's going around the neighborhood. So that one is it's not an issue. It's not an issue. Okay. Now that's the that's the area of comportment. Now the area of money. Money. Okay. Now, this is where we are now going to come to the modern um, scenario, like you mm-hmm. mentioned. Mm-hmm. Again, it depends on this money aspect ties to comport the comportment and values of the lady. Because honestly, the way I look at it, if a, if the lady has all these good qualities that a brother is looking at, looking for, yes. and mon- and money has been the issue, yes. most likely, I think what the brother will eventually do will be to either tell the sister. Let me let me rephrase it. In the first place, that brother must have been working towards something to raise money, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But maybe that process is long. It's taking, you know, it's taking long to actually materialize. Mm-hmm. So if it's taking that long, I think what the brother will most likely do will be to talk to the sister and say, "See, these are my plans. You know, this is taking long. This is, you know, these are all the whole stuff." Yeah. Now, if the sister is interested in the guy anyway, in the brother, mm-hmm. it's now left for the sister to say, "You know what? Let's go ahead with this marriage and." set a plan and walk towards it okay Be, this this is the way i look at money honestly speaking and that you know there's a way why it seems as if i'm talking in parables round and round because i often focus on principles if we get principles right the practices of the implementation of those principles it might be different for different people but it will work yeah. out because the way we take this money, oh, the woman is earning this amount of money, oh, the man is earning this amount of money. Personally speaking, I don't see it in the Bible. Honestly. Mm-hmm. So the way I look at money is both parties come together. They op- lay their cards on the table and say, this is the situation. They agree, okay, this is the plan. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to you know, go, go. And I'm going to be honest with you. And that is why I, I keep saying it. I say, it is it pains me personally, even if I don't know that lady. Yeah. It pains me when I hear that a good Christian lady is having married wrongly or married one, you know, question markable brother. Yeah. What, why I say it pains me is that I don't think God will just stay there and allow that sister to do that kind of move. I believe that God has been giving that sister warning in different ways, but she she just chose what she wanted to do, mm. and God left her. Mm. What I'm saying, what I'm saying this thing is that if you read the Bible, good men, so-called good men, are rare. Virtuous women, good women, are rare. So, if for example, number one, if you're a virtuous woman, you have to be very careful. Okay. If you see the brother, he might have all oh, all this good stuff, all this good stuff, but maybe. He doesn't have the so-called money you are looking for. Or you feel, oh, his um, financial status is not up to your taste. Mm-hmm. It's, it's left for you to make research. And if possible, ask him, what is the situation? What's going on? Okay. Because you never can tell. He might have a plan or he's working on and the whole process is just taking long. Okay. Be- Why I'm saying this, in, I've read of men in history like 100 years ago, 200 years ago. 300 years ago even yeah, in the while, recent while a no, man no, is waiting okay even in recent times yes that a woman because of maybe money mm-hmm. or because of some situations the guy is going through yes rejected that man's proposal after several years when mm-hmm. god took that man to you see what what i'm saying is that uh, since we are speaking we are speaking for both men and women is that there are some things we should not make use it with our own wisdom and this make a decisions on. Okay. Since we say we are marrying or entering marriage, because let me put it this way: the way at times we look at this situation is like adversarial. Or you know, the man wants to get the best whatever deal, the woman also wants to get the best. I don't see it that way. The way I see it is two people are coming together, eh? 
to form a unit that is so strong Yes. That it will last and endure. That's why I look at it. Okay. So teamwork. Teamwork. Now, when we say teamwork, you see, th this is a problem. When we say teamwork, the way some people take teamwork is, oh, you are just my partner. But that's not the way it works. Even in a team, let's say in a football team, they play different positions. Mm -hmm. Even the... Let, if let me use soccer or footballers, they call it in some parts of the world. Yeah. Even the even the top goal scorer on the team yeah. requires at times he at times he needs to pass that ball to someone else. He's the top goal scorer, but well, he needs to pass that ball to someone else and keep moving until the other people now see he's in the right position and they will not give him the ball to score. He's the top goal scorer. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that, oh, he's going to hold the ball all through. Or... No, no, that's not the way. Yeah, because every team member is important. Every member of a, of exactly. a team is important. Exactly. And that is why in this issue of discussing male, female, you know, husband, wife, I think as Christians, we should at times calm down eh, and let us read more of our Bible first. Yeah. Why I say it is this. People watching... Hmm? Have you ever read your Bible from the beginning to the end, at least once in your life? You need to do that and pray, prayerfully do that. Because when you pray, prayerfully do so, yeah. there, are some th there are some things that will begin to fall in place. You, all this, when you hear some of these arguments that people are making, you ignore it. You just ignore it. Go and read Isaiah 2.22. The Bible says, Seize ye from man whose breath is in his nostrils. Yeah. There are many things in church we hear. And they are just wisdom of men. They are not the word of God. They are just wisdom of men. And I believe that if we stick to what God says in his word, yeah. God, will not, God will not leave us hanging. That's why I said, like for that, let's, let me bring it full circle. For that sister that says, or that lady that says, oh, she's finding it hard. She has many friends that it seems as if nothing is going on. No one is proposing to her. The question I think you might have to pose to her is during her interactions, yes. what is the feedback she's getting? Like the indirect feedback, you understand what I mean? Okay. If she has not had that kind of interaction, tell her to say, announce if it's in the um, singles fellowship that she's part of or the young adults fellowship. Yeah. Let her, let her go and speak to her leader. Say, let us have potluck or let us have picnic or let us have get together. In those interactions, as you keep discussing just normally, naturally, mm -hmm. she will begin to gauge and evaluate the positions of the brothers around her. Okay. She should talk less. I think one, one bad habit is many women, they, keep, they think, oh, because they love to express themselves and talk. In some areas, you need to shut up. Just listen. You know, there's a psychologist that says it will amaze you what people will tell you if you can just shut up and listen. Okay. So women should do less of talking and more of listening. As, as, especially at this stage. So one of the qualities, you... one of the qualities from what I've inferred is that a woman that listens more than does talking. Is you got woman? it right. You got it right. See, me, okay. personally, personally, I'm more of a listener. I don't have strength to talk. But when I when I interact with you, and you and you keep talking, you're already shooting yourself in the foot. <laughs> because okay. Not no, because because you know I'm more of a listener. So every single thing you say, I'm listening and I'm recording it. You think you are just right. So if you for like for me personally, if you want to survive my own side, it means that you should even try to listen more than I do. So I mean. That is because I'm, I'm well, more I saw that now. listening listening skills are very important yes. for a man. More of listening and less of talking. And um, so, if you summarize be, that into in be more, three. be more okay. One, listen, listen. Okay. Number two, be generous. Be generous. Okay. Number three, See, let me put one. Let me explain the generosity. Okay. I don't mean oh, go and be buying gift for brothers up and down. That's okay. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's good too. What when I say generosity, I mean let's say there's an event in the yes. church or in the to, meeting to, to share your own part, not be always taking from people. In fact, in fact, okay. 
if sisters can do this thing, if sisters can say, you know what, you know, there's this bad negative stereotype of they say, uh, sister doing kitchen, what's it called? Is it kitchen duty? Something food like, you know, say, uh -huh, is this some food ministry? Something like, you know, food single ministry. sisters. Going to cook for different brothers and all that and all that. It, that, that is a negative side. Now, the, positive, si side. the positive side is, let's say, if brothers notice that, oh, in many meetings that the young people have, you either, even if it's sweet, lollipop, you know, or... You bring it for everybody. You just, you not know... Not for a particular brother. In particular you just bring thing. it. You understand, when people notice that, ah, this person has the heart to give, you know, people are like, okay, okay, you know, okay. you will stand out. All right. So, third one. We talked of listening, we talked of generosity. Yeah. The third one is, 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 it's going to be more than three. The third one is comportment. <laughs> how comportment? How comportment. you carry yourself? Okay. How do you behave? How do, do you, you not lose? even not even behave? How do you carry yourself? Carry yourself, okay? How a woman carry? We're going to talk about next time. How should a woman carry herself? We'll talk there, about there, one another there, one. There's something called it's. I think it's a Latin word, gravitas. That's where I think in the English we get gravity. Grave, grave. Courage. Your courage. Your, Your courage. How you the carry way yourself. You know, there's a way a lady will carry herself, even if a brother likes her. Ha! Huh. The brother will think twice, pray like one week, two months before he approaches her. <laughs> no, no, no. This okay. carry, no, this comportment is not as if oh, you are repulsing people, but you carry yourself in such a way that when people, you know, when people pass you or interact with you, they will know that ah, this person, this person, this person knows God. You know. There will be something about you that ah, people will be like, no, no, there's something about this person. That's comportment or courage. Okay. Uh, um, the, the other one will now be your values. The prior, okay. Especially the, pri the priority, how you rank it. Okay. The values, they want a woman whose values aligns, okay? So one thing that that one thing that makes men not to marry some women is because they don't have the same values. But they don't it's have not, these values that the man not, is looking for. It's not even only that they don't have the same values. They have the values of the world. Okay. They don't have the Christian. They're not displaying Christian values. Okay. And th this one, this particular one is critical because it's a slippery slope. Mm. These people might hold those values sincerely, but they don't know that they are mistaken. Mm. Just because you hear something trending on Facebook doesn't mean that it's right. Okay. That's why I earlier I said, Please read your Bible. Prayerfully read your Bible. Forget all these things. Read your Bible. Because the thing is that these values we are talking about, when you actually look at it and analyze it, I mean, you've been there in some of the discussions I've had with the ladies. When push comes to shove and you say, okay, take the Bible, show me where it is. They can't find it there. It's not there. But if you see how passionately they will be arguing this thing before, now, okay, you say, fine. Take the Bible and show it to me. It's not there. So that's why I say, ladies, see, calm down. Even unbelievers, they know. Why do you think that some of them come into church to try to get a lady to marry? Mm. That is what I'm saying. Even people in the world knows that a good woman is hard to find. Okay. So if you as a lady, people, men, brethren, are not proposing or showing their break light, there is some Apart from, you know, spiritual issues, but if not, none of that is at play, then there's something you are not getting. He said that you've, you've used your mouth, your mouth to chase people away. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for those tips. Okay. So is that, that's it. That's it, right? You, you're done? Yeah, that, that's it. That's all right. That summarizes it for us today. I hope that somebody has been blessed by this. And please do where to ask your questions. Any question that you ask, we'll be happy to respond. Anything that you don't understand from this conversation, please do well to um, write it in the comment sec section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe if you have watched up to this level. What are you waiting for? Be part of this family. Come and support us. And subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell below and so that you can be notified whenever we post new videos. And on this note, we're going to call it a day. Thank you so much for coming, for showing up and for talking to us, talking to ladies. I'm sure some ladies have learned something from what you've said. At least one thing, one key thing I take out of it is ladies, mind how you talk. 
mind how you talk, when you're so excited, when you're so passionate about that topic, about how you don't agree, how you believe so much in this. I cannot take this kind of thing. And we are talking and all the men have kept quiet and they are now looking at you like, whoa, where does he come from? Know that <laughs> you, are almost on, you are saying something that they are all taking into account. Men also take notes, not only women do. I hope that you have been blessed by this. Share this video to your friends and see you on the next video another time. Ciao. Thank you so much, Dr. Obina, for, for coming here. And thank you, everyone, all our subscribers, those who have subscribed up to this level. Thank you so much for your support. And see you next time. Bye.